Pete Davidson and Kaylee Cuoco star in the new Peacock romance film, Meet Cute. So let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services, just like Peacock. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more up and coming content. Meet Cute follows the story of Sheila and Gary. When they first meet, it's love at first sight until we realize their magical date wasn't fate at all. Sheila's got a time machine and they've been falling in love over and over again. But when the perfect night isn't quite enough, Sheila travels to Gary's past to change him into the perfect man. Meet Cute is an absolute roller coaster. It started off as something just purely enjoyable and romantic and just so adorable. Pete Davidson and Kaylee Cuoco just were so perfect in the beginning of the film. When we got to the meat of the story and when we realized that Kaylee Cuoco's character, Sheila, has a time machine and she's been going back in the past to fix everything possible about Pete Davidson's character and their date. And then the film just becomes depressing to the point where you just want to cry and it's just all emotional and messed up and it's just a roller coaster of a film but what this film captures is an honest look at a relationship even though from gary's side it's just a one night date and every time they go on this date sheila explains that she has a time machine and they've had this date before and it's the same thing over and over again so for her it's been the same date the same gary many 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 times and so at certain points the dates become a little stale she becomes very emotional she becomes more invested in him as a person and there's things she wants to change when we learn more about sheila's past and why she's on this date and how fixing gary can help her as well it becomes depressing and there's some things that i don't want to spoil about this movie but the way that they capture each character while keeping gary pretty much the same throughout the film sheila evolves so much throughout this film and we see all of the emotions that she's dealing with throughout all of these dates everything she has to overcome everything she is feeling is put on screen for us to watch and then we also see gary react to it in a certain way since in in a sense from his perspective it's just that first date so we see them meeting each other and then walking around talking and it's adorable and then she has these moments where she just lays everything on him and at times we have certain time periods where uh it's a little too much for him and he just walks off and she's like oh i'll just see you tomorrow and he doesn't believe that so we see this relationship from Sheila's side just grow and grow and grow in an honest look at relationships that things change and things can become stale and you can just grow in love more and more each day and it just captures romance and relationships perfectly even though it's part of a time machine so the film becomes adorable and pete davidson and kayla coco have really good chemistry in here at times they are very bubbly and they enjoy each other's presence and they are just truly involved with the relationship and you feel that there is some true love and then at times it becomes very depressing and we see that pete davidson's character gary may not be truly involved with this relationship and Sheila is. And so that relationship is up and down so much. It's hot and cold. It is crazy how this film just absolutely changed from the beginning. I also liked how it covered time travel. It's very trippy. And when you think about time traveling movies and how there's so many different timelines and they're overlapping each other and it's gonna be the same thing over and over again, it can be pretty trippy to think about and that's exactly what meet q is is we talk a lot about time travel and having one person already in a time loop and then you have to encounter that person and what happens if you encounter that person and back and forth and then different time periods different decades 
it's insane how deep this film is willing to go into time travel and how it affects everybody from the past, present, and future. So we have this relationship that's developing, but it does not forget to talk about time traveling. And it just goes all in with it. And it's a point where you have to pause it and start to think about certain timelines and certain characters and certain decades and how this per time and how this time in person's life affects this time and then it's just like a back and forth of all these different timelines and how it affects these two characters but i enjoyed watching gary and sheila develop as characters and when we got towards the middle half and end of the film we learn a little more about gary and what he's dealing with as well and certain dates feel like the same thing, but when we learn more and more about Gary and what he's done before as well, it adds another layer to this character. And so we have just development on top of development on top of development for these characters with time travel and a lot of just fun, adorable moments with a lot of just tracking shots of the two, just gr great dialogue, great conversations but then it quickly becomes depressing as can be and they handled those dramatic scenes so well. Meet Cute was not what I expected it to be. I thought it would just be something cute. At times it is, but also it can be very depressing. So before I give you my score for Meet Cute on Peacock, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So click that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. And if you'd like to see where Meet Cute ranks amongst all the other 2022 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm gonna go ahead and give Meet Cute a B. Thank you guys for checking out my review of Meet Cute on Peacock. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.